So thank you for joining me today, Matilda. Yes, of course. Thank you for having me. I got to say, Station Eleven was probably either my favorite show of the past year or one of my favorites, and maybe even the past couple of years. Oh, um, that's really nice. Yay. Yeah, yeah, and I have to say, I mean, it just really hit at the right time. It was something that I thought I just didn't have it in me to watch, which is like a show about a pandemic, and it was just so beautiful, just everything, uh, all the different pieces of it. But um, so I guess the first question is, you know, what made you interested in playing Kirsten? Um, what made me interested, the first thing was um, getting the sides for the audition. It's like nothing that I had ever gotten an audition for before. It was a very, a pretty heavy audition scene, but I, I like doing those scenes. Mm -hmm. I enjoy those. And right off the bat, I could just tell that she was a very like layered character and there was a lot for me to explore there. So I was just like, wow, mm -hmm. this would be cool. So I did my best, I gave it my all, and then I got a call back to go test for the character. And then from there, I just saw the whole story and all the different pieces coming together. And I was like, this could be a mess or this could be great. I have no idea. I think it turned out really well. Um, but yeah, it could have gone badly. I think. Yeah, well, I think you're right. Cause there's something about if you're going to do something interesting and new, you never know if it's going to work, right? So, yeah. and I could see it, since it's such a complicated story, like if you didn't have really talented people working on all different parts of it, it might just not have worked. I and, know. Yeah, I yeah. totally agree. I'm very happy that we had the team that we did. We had a lot of great people on it. Yeah. Was there a specific scene that you felt was like super challenging and you weren't sure if it was going to work and then like you were super happy with the results? I mean, like any scene where I have to like, I was afraid, I don't know if you remember the scene where I'm like, I just found out that my parents are dead and I'm like mm -hmm. in the bedroom and I'm throwing all this stuff everywhere and destroying everything. I was like, I'm pretty sure that was one of the first days. And I was really nervous. Mm -hmm. um, and I thought it would turn out, I didn't know how it would look. I thought it might look weird or, I because I needed to be committed and I loved it. I really loved getting angry and being able to destroy all this stuff. <laughs> but I was just like nervous leading up to that. Um, and I didn't know if it would work, but it did. So um, yeah. Yeah, I, I love that scene. It almost brings me to tears. Um, but you know, I'm an uncle. I have a lot of really amazing nieces and nephews and the cool. relationship between you and and jeevan in that or you know and that for me is something that i rarely see portrayed you know properly in tv which is you know how adults and kids can have friendships and relationships beyond you know what we're typically seeing on tv so what was it kind of like working with himesh patel and and how did you kind of figure out how to, to navigate that oh my gosh um i loved working with himesh um i loved working with everyone but I was, I agree with you that I feel like the relationships between adults and kids uh, are shown like very similarly. I don't know how to say it, but it's very like we see the same thing over and mm -hmm. over again. And I, I really did love working with Himesh because he always treated me like an actor, like an equal. We talked through everything. He's just a very down to earth person. I loved, I love him as a person, but as a scene partner, he's very generous and very like, I don't know. I think their relationship, it changes all the time. They're, they're what each other needs, if that makes sense. Like mm -hmm. if I'm, if he, he can tell what I need in the moment. So if I'm like, feeling really upset I need an adult kind of uh and then other times we're like a married couple and then sometimes we're like friends and it just kind of changes all the time which I feel like is so interesting 
Yeah, it's complex. Like real relationships in real life are complex. Like, you know, yeah. as I was saying, as an uncle, like so there's times where I have to be a parent to my nieces and nephews and I don't like it because I'm like, I'm not a parent. Like, I'm just an uncle. And there's times where I feel like we're friends and there's times where I feel, you know, it's like there's, it's constantly changing. And I felt like this yeah. show more than anything captured that, which was just, you know, relationships are super complex and weird. And, you know, and that's where we get so much of our joy out of life from. But um, yeah. so I have a question though about Shakespeare because I know you don't really do too much Shakespeare with your character in it, but um, have you ever performed Shakespeare before? And did this show make you at any interest, have any interest to do like theater or play or anything? Um, well, I did start out in theater, but definitely not Shakespeare. Mm -hmm. um, so uh, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. At one point in one draft of the script, they had me performing a, a little um, monologue. And mm -hmm. so I did that in one of the readings, which was fun. Mm -hmm. But I, they cut that. Um, I never actually ended up doing it. But I, I would be curious to try Shakespeare, but like, it looks so hard. Mm -hmm. It's my dad, my parents um, are actors. Um, my mom doesn't do it as much anymore, but my dad, is like still really big on Shakespeare. He's done a lot of plays and it's just so precise and and you have to rehearse so much and it just seems so complicated. I mean, I guess I'll be up for the challenge one day, but I don't know. Yeah, I mean, I, I wouldn't blame you if you were like, I don't want to have to tackle that because it's such a different style of acting and performance. And the funny thing is the language is, I think, a huge barrier for a lot of people because my wife hates, I'm not saying to say she hates Shakespeare, but she so, thinks she's so overplayed. And, but I just loved how in Station Eleven, you really get you know, a, an appreciation of like what's behind the words. And I think that's one of the things that if you can get away from the, um, you know, the language and just get to the emotions and the characters. I think it, you know, it can be super powerful. I think um, you're absolutely right. Did you do any um, uh, like preparation though for your role beyond the Shakespeare thing, but did you do any kind of like research or preparation for being Kirsten? Oh, 100%. Anytime you're playing a character, you always have to, at least for me, I always mm -hmm. go in with doing a lot of research, um, lots of preparation. My dad, he always helps me. He's, he's my acting coach kind of. Mm -hmm. So we talk through things. We do a lot of exercises. I, I just read a lot of things that might help with the character. Like for Kirsten, I did a, some research on like survival skills and stuff like that. And just to kind of get an idea of how she was surviving. I spend a lot of time outside, like in the forest and trying to get myself into it and kind of experiencing fractions of what she experiences so that mm -hmm. I can like understand where she's coming from. So we'd like go into the forest and I just, it, it's a lot of like preparation for me. That's my process includes a lot of like, a lot of working. Yeah, I mean that Kirsten character is a real survivalist. I mean, she just is, somebody who just can take whatever the world's throwing at her. And I, you definitely, that was portrayed in the character for sure. Oh, um, yeah. are, are you a fan of like sci-fi and fantasy stuff? Is that a genre you enjoy? Uh, yeah, I really do like, I like to, I read a lot of dystopian books. Um, I love sci-fi too. What's and, kind of your favorites on the tip of your tongue? What are some of your favorites? Um, well, uh, Hunger Games. Mm -hmm. I, I was, I'm still obsessed with those books. Listen, I'm an yeah. adult and I love those. I've read those. <laughs> yeah, those are the best. I I just have read those just like multiple times. Um, and I like the divergence and I don't know. I really, I do like those kinds of books. I feel like it explores something so different and new and just, yeah, I love it. Great. Um, I also heard that Mackenzie Davis actually based a lot of her performance uh, off of what how you portrayed Kirsten because you sh they filmed a lot of her stuff afterwards. Did you have any kind of interaction or conversation with her about the character like during, before, or after uh, you filmed? Um, we 
we had like a few zoom meetings but we never really talked about the character it was kind of just getting to know each other um which i feel like is important because we were already we already knew who kirsten was and we were already there with kirsten so i feel like knowing each other as people helped mm -hmm. and i mean Patrick, the showrunner, would argue that already we were, like, we were already, like, Kirsten, I guess. And he would argue that me and Mackenzie have, like, just a connection on a human level. So that really helped. And I agree with that. Um, we, we, she's the best. I love mm -hmm. her so much. Um, okay, now I lost my train of thought. <laughs> That's okay. Um what was I saying? You were saying how, um, you know, you didn't really have too much conversations about it just through some oh, Zoom right. meetings, but that um, you did, you know, anyway, sorry, you can do Okay, so, and then we, we like, we had Kirsten at such different points in her life that it didn't feel like it needed to talk about too much. Like, if it was just a couple years apart, I think we would have needed to have more conversation, but it was just... Yeah, and she really was taking the the baton that you had passed to her in a way because they not only did you did the story go that way, but also you, considering they filmed your scenes first, it sounded like uh, a lot of your stuff. Yeah, um, she, she did that kind of. Have way. you had a chance to watch the entire series yet? Yes, okay. I have. Yeah. What did you think? I, I is it painful it, to watch yourself? I guess I should say it, it was painful. Um, <laughs> whenever I had any of my scenes, I just couldn't watch it. I just like I. I can't do it. Yeah. I just can't. But with this one, I felt like I loved watching everyone else so much. And I loved watching the artistic ways that it was edited and just the music and everything and all the effects. It was like more than I could have imagined. Um, I was kind of surprised in some areas, I guess. Well, not surprised, just I never really knew what to expect so mm -hmm. so i guess i i guess i was i don't know it just was brought to life mm -hmm. in a way that was beautiful and i think everyone on the team like oh my gosh they're really they're really talented and so did you get a chance to read all of the different scripts before you actually watched it or was it some of it actually a surprise to see where the story was going I read all the scripts, but like when you read the script on the page, you cannot imagine it the way um, it's oh, yeah. put together. Like it, it was in my head, it was totally different than the way it turned out. And on set, it felt like we were filming a hundred different shows at once because there were so many different parts. Like um, Himesh came back uh, to film a scene with me and he was like, I literally, he filmed, cause he was filming one of the scenes from episode nine with, um, am I allowed to talk about that? Yeah, with sure. Women, mm -hmm. pregnant women. And um, and he was like, I felt like I was on a different show. Yeah. Like it just felt like a million different shows filming at the same time, but it did come together, I think. Yeah, that's what we said at the top when you were like, I don't know, it's kind of crazy it's, that it all fit together. And if you think about it, that episode is almost like a comedy in some ways. Because yeah. it's like all these women having birth and it's so hopeful and silly in some ways. Whereas the episodes you were in could be really dark and serious. And I think that's one of the things I loved about the show is that it was like a roller coaster. Um, yeah. You know, like sure. you didn't know what was coming next. That's a good um, way to say it. Cool. Well, that's all my questions. Is there anything else you want to add or say about working on? Oh, actually, what? Here's a good question. What do you have coming up next? Can you talk about it? Oh, yeah. Um, I. I'm working on this series called The Gilded Age on mm -hmm. HBO, which is really exciting. Um, I'm also working on The Clauses, uh, which is um, an extension. I don't even know how to say it. It's the four, it's um, the three Santa Claus movies with Tim yes. Allen. Yes, okay. So this is a sequel from, to that series, sort of. Yes. Is it a movie or a TV show? It's a TV show. It's a oh, okay. limited series. So it's part of um, the universe of the Santa Claus movies. Yes. It's not like a remake. It's just a, an add-on, I guess. 
And um, so that's exciting. I'm an elf, which is like, you know, pretty cool. For research, did you watch the movie Elf over and over again with Will Ferrell? I watched it about 100 times on repeat. <laughs> I just kept hitting play again. <laughs> That's like my household every time Christmas rolls around. Uh, cool. Well, thanks so much for taking the time to speak with me, Matilda. Yes, thank you. Thank you for having me here.